Hey there viewers and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. As you can tell by the title of the video, it is rebooting your CV shaft or putting a new boot, a boot for our Canadian viewers on your CV shaft. Now I didn't show the process of getting the CV shaft out. There's probably a bazillion of them on YouTube. But once it's out, what do you do? First of all, you have to make sure boots are available. Why are we, why are we rebooting this one? Uh, because this CV shaft for this vehicle was no longer available in a reasonable amount of time. But I could get some boots for it. Got them from Napa. Not a sponsor. Hopefully they're correct. The boxes look like they're as old as the car. So first thing we have to do is get the clamps off, the factory clamps. So we will open that up. We'll peel these little guys off there. You can just cut them with a cutoff wheel if you want. Whatever, you're, whatever suits your fancy. Now I'm not sure what holds the outer portion of our joint on. We'll figure that out. Usually there's only either a C-clip or you just whack them off. So we'll work on this outer joint first. They're usually not too difficult to do. Now if your boot has been broke for too long and your CV shaft is actually making noise, forget about it. You're going to need a different shaft. And what you can do there, if they don't make yours anymore, is just go to the go to the junkyard and get one that's good and then reboot it. And the other thing to keep in mind is just because the boot is good doesn't mean the joint is good. I've seen many of shafts clicking and clanging and carrying on and still have a good boot. Get a screwdriver. Oh, probably under this little guy. Crack loose here. Get her off our outer joint and we'll crack it loose from the inner one here. We'll slip it on down the shaft. This is a messy job, just FYI. So there's that. Then we'll have a look see in our outer joint here. If it's a snap ring style or if it's just the kind of you whack off. I don't see any snap rings, so what we'll do is we'll put this in the vise and I'll get a brass punch and I'll stick it right here. And I'll give her one solid whack and it should come off and there should be a snap ring uh, on the shaft itself, typically. I'm gonna run over and do that. I'm not gonna take the camera, but long story short. Clamp this in the vise, brass punch, give it a whack. Off it'll come. So I didn't finish driving it off all the way. I did crack it loose in the in the vise. It's usually just overcoming that snap, initial snap of the snap ring. So then we'll finish tapping it. Okay. Come on, you mother lover. Bear with me, folks. Amateur hour at SMA. I see the snap ring. It's a coming. Gotta talk nice to it. Ta da! There it is. Snap ring is right there. It's seen better days. It's stuck in the groove. Partially a way around. I believe our kit comes with a new snap ring, so no worries. So here's our inner joint. Now, you gotta go clean this thing up and give your balls a good look. Uh, make sure they're not chowdered up. Uh, like I say, this one had no, no noise, no complaints, so I don't really expect to see much. I'm gonna go throw it in the parts washer. You may opt to use some other type of parts cleaner, gasoline, some other, Bottle chemical, clean it out, seven or eight cans of brake parts cleaner, perhaps. But you just got to get the goo out of it. And then we're going to see if we can't get this snap ring off because it is really stuck down in the groove here. There it is. Now she's all loosey goosey. And we will save that just in case the one we got is wrong. This one's pretty stretched, so it's going to be a pain in the hoo hoo to put back on if we have to use it. 
So we'll save that. We'll pull our boot off. Let's see, we just gotta remember which side's the outside in case they have the same splines. A lot of times they don't, but I see the inner shaft has this little extra little ding dong around there. So while we're cleaning up this whole mess, we'll get this side worked off. How's your painting going, Marie? It's going great. Marie's painting some new shelves over there. Josh is next door throwing parts, it sounds like. I don't think I've ever seen him throw anything. I've never seen you throw anything, not on purpose. That's true, Marie, because I have a cherub like demeanor. I'm very calm. chuckle like that might not be true. Most of the time, 80% of the time, every time. You do. Unless you're tired. Then you're just mean. I'm not mean, I just don't talk. Which is weird. Usually I have to specify to people if they're sensitive, like, I'm not mad, I'm just not talking to them. I'm sensitive. Not really. No, not really. I've been called a lot of things sensitive, usually isn't one of them. Nope. Which I think you've made reference to your leather-like skin before. Yes, I agree. Skin is thick as leather. Vice grip-like hands. That's what I tell my kids when... I burn myself or pick up something hot. They're like, oh, that didn't burn you. I'm like, you can't burn leather, boy. And I'm actually, I'm crying on the inside because it hurts so bad, but. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta keep your cool around your kids, you know? So yeah. there's that tulip, and that is full of muddy looking substance. So we will save that. All right, now on the end of this, there is a snap ring. And then you could pull this off if you chose to do so, which we don't have to because we're gonna unboot it in this direction. Oh yeah! <laughs> bigger the glob, better the job, that's what they say. I'm gonna wipe this off. Make sure that these are held on with some kind of retaining device, and they are. So we're gonna leave this just as it is. Uh, we don't have to worry about our bearings falling out. I'm gonna go clean all this up in the parts washer. Clean up my mess, my tools, everything included. Then we're gonna come back and reboot it. Boom, it is all clean. We cleaned the shaft, we checked the balls. Everything looks good. I don't see any pitting or anything on the races. All the bearings feel smooth. <coughs> Excuse me. That on the end there, folks, is the snap ring I was telling you about. If you wanted to, you know, remove this from the shaft or you had to change it for any reason like that. Let me get our inner cup here. Here comes a tornado, or the noon whistle, because it is lunchtime. There's the inside of our cup, which looks gorgeous. And these two fit together like this. I've done a video on CV shafts and why they make noise. We tore apart, we tore apart, we tore apart a noisy one. So if you're interested in that, now we're gonna slip this boot on. We're gonna go all the way down to our groove, where it's going to be permanently. We probably should have checked to see if it fit first now. If you're doing it, well, it doesn't matter. You don't even know what kind of car we're working on. This is the Dodge Stealth. You son of a mother. Let's just pop that back off and have a little gander out here. I hope this is right, because we already bought the farm here, folks. Better be right. I think they're not sponsoring us. Let's see. Sometimes they are a little stretchy. You gotta. You know, work it, girl. There we go. Please be right, please be right, please be right. <laughs> Find the old one. The old one is nasty. This one seems smaller. You sons of 
course, that one could be stretched from time. Old father time. Let's just see here. Let's see how it clicks. <clears throat> Swole! Crap biscuit. in it. It's going to sit up on this groove and that groove. Okay. Calm down, fella. Let's come back on the shaft. You know what? Let me lube it. I really want to do some of that stuff. We'll just grab some two degrees for the Mitsubishi here. That's just to aid in installing this. You can use some of the CB boot grease, but I don't have it open yet. So there we are. There's that. Oh, make sure they did send us plants. And they did. More of the universal style. So we do have plants that look like they will fit there. Now this outer one has lots of adjustment in it. Okay, so we should be golden. Got the bag of goo. We will put some of it in our tulip here. Now you can buy this grease. I believe I've bought this in the past where I've bought boot kit. They do not come with grease. I believe Veveline makes a little four pounder or something you can buy of this stuff. See the axle grease. Schmooing around here. Do, do. down in our needles here a little bit if we can. All right, then we want to get the rest of the grease from our package. Life hack right here. Would that feller want an appointment, Marie? Yes, he had an appointment for his food on heat. I had quite a story from it. He said he had an oil leak, and he took it to the Honda dealership, and he had to take it back six times. Every time he brought it back, he still had the oil leak. And then finally, the last time they had it, they had it for 10 days. They charged them $3,200. Does it still leak oil? No. Boom, problem solved. I asked him that. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, does it still leak oil? He goes, no, but they did my timing belt, my water pump, which only had 30,000 miles on them. And they told me that they were going to be good for 100,000 when I had them done last time. So you might want to keep this guy around. Sounds like he's... <laughs> <laughs> no, Marie, we don't want this guy around there. He took all his money. <laughs> wants an oil change oh. and that wasn't uh, included in the $3,200 or that's a well, old, old repair uh, apparently not um, and then he also wants an inspection and he said it runs rough when he first starts it up and then it smooths out he said it didn't used to do that before but it doesn't now oh good and check engine light on no oh, okay and um, he said it's hearing rattling which he thinks is the heat shield ah gotcha 10-4 I'm just going to put down diagnosed rough start and... Did he say for how long it runs rough? I mean like 
Can we Just talk a few seconds? A few seconds, yeah. Okay. And then you feel that. Gotcha. Good job, Marie. He had quite a story to tell me. Hmm. Was he a good storyteller? He's a very good storyteller. He's got a lot of really good specifics. Like, can you tell me exactly what speed this happened? Did he have a voice like Morgan Freeman, so the story really stuck out to you? You don't, you don't know who Morgan Freeman is, do you? We talked about this guy, didn't we? Perhaps we have, Marie. We've talked about a lot of people that you have no idea who they are. Well, this is what I can bet. I just don't know where it's from. I'm not even going to give you movie references because, frankly, you've probably never seen any of them. So there's that, there's our inner joint. We're gonna cycle it, smush all the grease around in there. You can hear it. All right, so there's that. And then we can put our clamps on it. Now these are a universal style clamp. Now this did come with a new snap ring that's like gonna go on the very end on the tripod of balls and then it came with a new snap ring for going in the transmission. My suggestion is if it came out of the training fine, don't mess with it. Right. Not a huge fan of these universal ones. You always wonder, like, how much play do I leave in it? I'm thinking about that much. Now the inner one is also universal. That one has a lot more play in it. Uh, hmm. Does it come with directions? way too much for me to read. Okay. Oh, here we go. Pictures. That's what we want. <laughs> All right. Well, doesn't really tell us much. So, worst part is you screw this up, then what? Then what do you do, fella? That's too loose. We're going to go basically as tight as we can get it by hand without forcing it. All right. Then we will come over to the toolbox and we'll grab some CV boot clampers. We'll make sure there is no reason that we cannot install this. It is up on all the way around. It looks great. We'll give it a little squeeze. Make sure everything is still good. The same amount of groove exposed all the way around. And then we'll give it full beans. Full beans. The full beans have been administered. All right. This one here, we're going to try to tighten this up one more notch off the vehicle because these ones are pretty snug. Let's slip that little guy back on. Can you guys see? Are we in frame? There we go. That feels good. I mean, real good. And for our OCD viewers, we will line up the notches for the clamp groove. I didn't know you took your OCD. I do. I take all my viewers into consideration, Marie. Give that a good squeeze. And there we are. One rebooted CV shaft. Feels good. Now, let's find the other boot. Da -da, here's the other boot. that not so universal couple couple options on these ones do not forget to stick that on first rule number one rule number two is take the bag off make sure it fits the boot okay we're gonna have to go up a couple couple grooves on that so we'll slide this little guy on let's stick that in the box get this out of the way Toothpaste. And lube up our boot. Clamp is on. Slip it down in the groove. We'll go a little bit beyond where we have to go. Now, this came off harder than normal. Typically, when you whack them with the brass punch and get them past the snap ring, they're usually boop, out they come. So before I put the snap ring on, I just want to see there's some issue there. 
I do, Marie. Uh, give me a sub, please. An all healthy one, zero calories. Or my usual. All right, so that goes on a little bit past the groove, gets a little stiff, but it does start. So we'll keep that in mind in case we have to give it the old tappy tap to get her on. Is this the one that came with that? It's this one. I almost messed that up, fella. You want to stick this on with minimum stretching. Let's get go right through my finger. There's that side. There's that side. There's that side. Oh, she gonna be snug. Snug as a bug in a rug. Let me get some plier squeezing apparatuses. <coughs> Da, 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 da. Guess these will work. I just want to give that ring a little squeeze. Just a little hug. Make sure it's going to go in the groove. Uh, I don't like the way they trim the end of it. That side goes in. This side's not super friendly. Nope. You'd be beating your brains out on that. So what we have to do now, without stretching it too much, let's get it back off. We have to trim, kind of file on the end of this a little bit. Son of a hoo hoo. Right. Is that what you gotta do, Eric? You just try it in a different spot and the groove should be the same all the way around. The groove's always the same. Oh no, not not always, fella. Went in there. Clicked in there. So we should be good. I lied. This thing's gonna be a fighter, I can tell you right now. Alright, where's my knife? Grease up our joint a little bit down in there. All right. So I'll make sure it's packed on the back side of those balls. down in there. Wipe off my finger. Alright, let's see how this goes. You know what, I want to clean off around where the snap ring goes. This thing is just barely tapered as far as starting the snap ring, so we're going to have to really pay close attention to it to make sure it's not wanting to just kick it right back off and give you the false sensation that you did a job well, even though you didn't. So we will get that lined up. Okay, it is lined up. Uh, da, da, let me grab the axle nut so I can whack on it. The style axle shaft with the four holes in it for the cotter pin. They crush very easily. So don't go just smacking on it. How do you feel about 1245 much? I don't care. Okay. That's good. They always get overwhelmed. Yeah, they, they're very overwhelmed. Did she have a sense of overwhelming? Yes, she did. Like, oh, there's like seven people in here right now all at once. Pan, pan, pan. Oh, boy. She put me on hold. And oh, I boy. To her cash three people out. And then she couldn't use her words properly, which I assume means she's thinking about a lot of things. Multitasking. Try it. They're good ladies down there. They're very good. My favorite one's Jessica. She was one that was talking to me. Really? Yeah. She can usually handle herself. It might be really good. Little fella, 
We're not going to get along here, are we? I really like the other style. Not going to lie. Bada bing, bada boom. I love this style. It goes right in. Look at that. That's all you got to do is just fiddle with it. Before you beat it on, is there any reason you cannot go on? We got the boot, we got the clamp. Ask yourself these questions. Very important. And we want to whack it the rest of the way. Until she clips in there. That sounds good inside. Oh yeah, smooth as butter. Take our nut back off. We close that door, please, Marie. No, the office door. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I give up on my. Where's my socket? All right, we're gonna leave that on there for the moment. We'll get our bag of grease. I don't even know if you guys are in the frame. How do you feel about having a gray look over here? Okay, Mary. That's good. Not that I'm a bad painter, but this is very free spirit paint. You're like a free spirit, man. Yeah. Spread your wings, Mary. Be free. Fly away, Stanley. Be Fly free. Oh, uh, you know where that quote's from, right? <laughs> Only the best movie ever in the world, and also my favorite movie, Cars, Disney Pixar. In case you guys didn't know that, that is my favorite movie of all times. Very appropriate. There's, there's so much good stuff in that movie, Marie. I know. I've watched it quite a few times. I've wore it out and had to buy a new Blu-ray. Really? Yes, ma'am. Why do you use this anymore? Because I'm old school, girl. Because it don't come out VHS. <laughs> oh, last time. Do you even know what VHS is? Yes, actually. We used to have a VHS player. You have to like sit there and rewind them. And if you didn't like the person before you, but didn't rewind it at the end of the day. Ah, be kind, please rewind. Yes. Okay. Do you remember going to the, ever go to the movie store to rent a VHS? Yes. Or beta disc? You probably don't remember beta. I don't know beta disc. Yeah. Yes. Psh. We actually just, we didn't rent them, we just went down to the library down here. Oh, the free ones. Yes. Yes. What about that like? The only free ones you get at the movie store anymore are exercise videos. <laughs> yep. So they're like, here, you're a fat slob. You can have this for free. And up, and up, and up. Uh, and the kids' movies. Back when the family video was still open there in Bath before they went bankrupt. <laughs> Probably from giving away free movies. I don't know. Plus, who? Nobody rents movies anymore. Yeah, well, yeah, not, I've never. There's that. Okay, I take that back. I've only rented a movie from a movie store once. And I was 12. And they just made you were 12? I was 12. And they let you rent one? Yeah. Wasn't a naughty movie, was it? What? Wasn't a naughty movie, was I it? I just said it was Bambi. Bambi? You rented Bambi? Yeah. You freaking kidding me? I love Bambi. Such a sad story. It's literally one of the saddest stories. And every time I see a little pawn that's hit by the side of the road, it's hashtag not a survivor. Yeah, but Bambi didn't get killed. I know, but I think of Bambi when I see it. Like, I if you see a dead buck alongside the road, you should think Bambi, because didn't Bambi's dad get whacked, or was no, it his mom? No, I see a dead buck. Okay, no. Eric, I told you, I'm not talking about the animals anymore on this channel. I have to stop this conversation. Okay. Whatever, dude. Thanks. Bambi is one of my Bambi what? Bambi is one of my favorite movies. Although I haven't watched it in years. So. Wow, they really didn't give us much room on this one, folks. So you can see the struggle here. As I'm trying to carry on a conversation. Well, hooking this up. <laughs> Mother loving son of a hoo hoo. Come on! All right, skip that one. No, we can't skip it. We gotta persevere.
What the? F I know. I think I just came up with a diabolical plan to take over the world and rule Gotham. Or do this. So watch this. Look at this. I just saw this all on my own. <laughs> Stick this in here. Push against that tab. What? I think that's going to work. If it doesn't, I'll just delete this part of the video. Give it the old spreader -roo. Boom! Eat it, CV shaft. Jeez. All right, now we have to line this up for our OCD viewers. Here comes a little scooter. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna give this a squeeze. Let's make sure everything's good. Well, you know what do you say, Vinny? Not too much. I'm not painting, Maria is. I'm painting. There's that one. Boom, jeez, wow. Ah, uh, CV boot. What's weird on the street, Vinny? Nothing, same old, same old. Right now I think it's pothole, isn't it? Yeah, pothole. That's what literally You're going to need to put bigger tires on your scooter there. They're supposed to fix this at 25th. Yeah, they're well, supposed, they to have it, have supposed to have it done on the 10th, right? Yeah. Were, well, the 10th is an option. I've lost count. What month? Did you ask them what month? What year? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I can almost. Not big, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's getting rough, dude. It's, it's, it is. There, we're done. Man, hallelujah. Well, that's that, folks. Uh, rebooting your TV shaft. Now, typically, you don't have to fiddle that much. Uh, other things that you may run into besides the pr issues that I ran into, uh, the classic snap ring issue, the undersized clamp issue, is a different style clamp. They do have this band style that you have to have a special tool to wind up. Uh, I think I have one of those. I know I have one, but where is it? We do it's right here. Look at that. This is just a cheapie. You don't need a real expensive one. This is just one from Napper, not a sponsor. I don't know what the part number is on this thing. I don't know. It's probably on here somewhere. There it is. There's the number on that. Now this is for the wind up style ones, which I really don't like them. It's similar to the ones that we took off, the factory ones. They're the wind up and then hammer the sides over. Uh, so there's that. So if you're buying a boot kit, make sure you know which style bands it comes with. Uh, these ones are the easier ones to do. I've seen people have their habit where they're gonna use a pair of uh, side dikes to get under there and give it the squeeze. That usually squeezes them crooked and if your dikes are good, it'll cut them in half. Uh, so be careful with that. Uh, you didn't get a good look see at this, but this is the CV boot tool. I cannot remember the proper name for those style clamps. But I call them CV boot style clamps. I can't remember. There'll be 50 comments in the comment section saying which type they are. So if you want to see that, I'll try to put links to these types of tools. These are the only two I've ever ran across on a CV boot. And that's that, folks. I'm going to keep motoring. You motor on down there to that comment section. Leave a comment. Question, criticism, or concern you may have, subscribe, ring that bell. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.